I recently started a series where I customized my Squishmallows. I even needle felted some teeny tiny Squishmallows. I'm obsessed. Today's gonna be a little different though. I saw some Squishmallow TikToks where people took their Squishmallows, <laughs> slaughtered them, and then put them back together. So today I'll be cutting up some of my favorite Squishmallows and Frankensteining them together. Little piece here, little piece there. Normally I don't ever do anything to harm my Squishmallows. I do snip off their tags, which really frustrates some people. <laughs> But you know what? They're my Squishmallows. I got them all at five below. I'm willing to invest five bucks here and there. In the, In name, the name of, of art, art and creativity. creativity. I expect some sparkle butt Squishmallow collector's tears will be shed. <laughs> I've come to terms with it. I actually enjoy it. So first up is Avery. What? I know what you're thinking. How could I do this to Avery? After everything we've been through. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. I've seen tons of Avery's at Five Below. I'll just pick up another one at some point. Nothing special. They're not that hard to find at Five Below. Some of you guys don't believe me, so I would like to submit this evidence to the jury. This is a picture of the bin at my Five Below. Yeah. Joining Avery today will be Connor the Cow. I have two Connor the Cows, so there's really no worries there. I am a little scared about how this Frankensteining process will end up, but I'm up for the challenge. I pulled out my rainbow scissors. I'm gonna be cutting up a couple Squishmallows today, so if you're not okay with that, maybe now would be a good time to invert your eyes. I'm getting rid of the tag. I've tried to keep it on in the past, but it just kinda gets in the way. I'm not planning on reselling my Squishmallows or preserving their value or anything. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. By the way, Connor doesn't have any udders, so he's a guy. So it's actually Connor the Bull, I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to clear that up. I've been referring to him as Connor the Cow, and I'm big enough of a person to admit my mistakes. That was my bad. I'm sorry. He's not a cow. By the way, this polyfill stuffing is unlike any stuffing I've ever touched before. It's like silky soft. It's quality stuff. Connor's looking a bit deflated. I got all the stuffing out of him, or at least as much as I could. It's premium quality stuffing. So soft. It feels like a cloud. I'm saving it just in case I ever need it. Connor's back. He's like a little puppet now. Hi, I'm Connor the cow! <laughs> but that's not what he's gonna be for long. Oh, looks like I missed a couple organs in there. <laughs> I'm now making some incisions on Connor's flesh. I'm gonna need a couple parts of him. I'll start with this back piece. It's a nice chunk of skin. My name's Connor the Go! <laughs> My videos aren't meant to be relaxing, guys. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing is cutting out patches of Connor's flesh. I'm just stealing the parts that I want, and then the rest of him is trash. Brutal, I know. But it's all in the name of art. Plus, this is what I want to do, so I'm gonna do it. I don't want to hear any crying. This is probably gonna be my most controversial piece to date. Doesn't get much more evil than this around these parts. Honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about Connor. I personally think it's worth it in the end. Plus, remember, these are only five bucks. I would never do this to a normally priced Squishmallow. Lucky for me, I don't have any of those. I don't need Connor's whole face, just his nose for today. And the last addition will be his tail. Cute, cute. That's pretty much all I need. The rest I'm getting rid of. What's left of them anyway. I'm going around all the edges and making everything look a little neater. More professional. That's me, professional Squishmallow Slaughterer. And this is what I ended up with. That's all for this week. <laughs> no, I'm not done yet. There's still plenty more agony to go around. But for now, I'm moving all that aside, making room for my favorite, my one and only, my ride or die. I've spent a lot of time with Avery. I've stared at his dumb face for long enough. In fact, I'm sick of it. I hate it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I love Avery. There's never enough Avery. Please subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, there's gonna be a new dark side Avery in town, and I'm gonna be the one to stitch them together. It's like a puzzle. I'm basically just trying to visualize where everything's gonna go. I did plan this out beforehand, so it should look pretty cool. Since I don't sew, I'm sticking to fabric hot glue. One of my newest obsessions. It's amazing. It's life-changing. Almost as amazing and life-changing as the soft matte paint discovery. I just dabbed on the fabric hot glue. No rhyme or reason to it. Just at random and then I stuck it on. I am trying to keep the seams aligned. It's a little hard to do because fabric hot glue is very strong and stubborn. Once it's in place, it's not gonna budge. You really have to rip it off with all your might. It's not like regular hot glue. I found the best way to do it was to glue down a little bit at a time and then work my way around. 
around, just because the glue dries pretty fast. I basically just went around and stuck all of Connor's flesh onto Avery. I'm using my mini hot glue gun for this whole ordeal. My regular hot glue gun I used for, well, regular hot glue. So the only other one I had on hand was this tiny little useless contraption. Works fine, I just have to keep reloading it because it runs out really fast and that's super annoying. I am gonna order a second full-size hot glue gun because I just can't go through this whole thing again. Plus, I plan on using fabric hot glue more regularly. It's just that good. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. To give him more of that voodoo doll stitched together kind of look, I'm replacing one of his eyes with a button. I would have replaced one of Avery's eyes with Connor's, but they both pretty much look exactly the same. I wanted to give it more of that creepy factor. Moving on to the back. I'm plopping Connor's. I'm plopping. I'm popping. 70 years later. I'm plopping Connor's tail onto Avery's butt. I'm adding some stitches on with slick paint all around the patches. I wanted it to look like they were sewn onto them, but I don't know how to sew, so this is my way of faking that look. I was trying to be very careful. I didn't want to smudge it or anything. Fabric paint has a tendency to get everywhere. I went with red stitches mostly because I thought they would complement Avery's colors, and also just stand out a bit. I took my time to dry each patch as I went with a blow dryer, because, like I said, I was worried the paint would just get everywhere. I did the stitches all around the back, and then I let that dry for a couple hours. 70 years. Later. Avery's not yet ready to be flipped over. I did dry him, he's just not dry enough, so be right back. Alright, now I'm doing the same thing to the front, just going around all the patches with more stitches. He looked pretty cool before the stitches, but I think the stitches really pull the whole look together. And to make the button look like it's sewn on too, I added some slick paint to that as well. Avery's definitely looking much more creepy cute, if I do say so myself. But I'm not quite done with the slaughtering yet. Say hello to the frog squishmallow, aka Wendy, aka not Felipe, and therefore, it's not much of a loss. Wendy will be joining forces with Cat Unicorn also known as Kaylee. Ew. One of you guys mentioned that all girl squishmallows have eyelashes, but Wendy doesn't have any eyelashes. I still think Wendy is a girl, but now I'm questioning things. Avery's definitely a boy though, and half of us have come to a consensus on that. Anyways, so Wendy's gonna be the base. We'll put him aside for now. And Kaylee is gonna be the skin donor. How generous of her. I'm starting off by gutting her. There's a lot of stuffing packed into these guys. They really packed them full. No wonder they're so huggable. I'm just saving all this for later projects. All right, so here's the shell of Kaylee. I picked her up because she reminded me of Jack the Black Cat, and this is the closest I'll ever get to him. She's having a very similar procedure done as Connor. I'm just taking the parts I like. Her rainbow hair was a must-have, of course. It's probably the only redeeming quality about her. I did cut a random square patch of black out of her as well. I have plans. I almost forgot her tail. It's this giant rainbow horse tail. You really can't miss it. I'm bringing back my best bro. Wendy. I thought maybe Wendy would really like the experience of having arms, since no Squishmallows have arms, except for the ones that do, like Avery, which is why he's superior. Kaylee didn't have arms to donate either, but she had ears to donate. Yeah. And if you squint hard enough, they look kinda like arms now, or flippers, or fins, or just ears on the side of Wendy's body. Rainbow Hair's making a comeback. I thought he might enjoy not being bald. With Wendy, I'm going for more of a mythical kind of look. He's a mythical creature, the type you hope you never run into. <laughs> this square is gonna be like a sewn-in patch, without actually being sewn in. But yeah, give him more of that worn look. He's been through a lot. He even lost his eyelashes along the way. Poor guy. I ended up adding that poofy rainbow tail to the back. Now that's a sparkle butt if I've ever seen one. Scary stuff. I added a button eye to him as well, keeping things consistent here. That same voodoo doll kind of look, except with Squishmallows. He's looking pretty good, but he definitely needs the stitches treatment. He just looks unfinished without him. I went with pink stitches this time around. They look nice with the black and green. Slick paint is very temperamental. I guess I didn't glue down this patch enough on this side, and that's clearly a problem. And I accidentally smudged her. Him. Here too. Wendy's giving me a pretty hard time. Not too much of a mess though. I can fix this. It could be worse, so I can't complain. I thought it would be a nice touch to add some stitches on his mouth as well. I think they both turned out amazing. So much better than I expected for trying this out for the first time. I feel like there needs to be more creepy kind of squishmallows. They're all borderline sparkle buttish. Subscribe or no eyelash, Wendy will come for you. Rainbow horse tail and all.